Welcome to Free Your Mind, an experiential daily practice designed to dissolve past programming and expand your awareness of your true self beyond the matrix illusion of fear, lack, and separation. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, close your eyes and let go of all memory and anticipation. Bring your full awareness to the now, this holy instant. The purpose of this practice is to enable you to bring unconditional an unwavering peace with you into any and every circumstance and to heal the stress and turmoil. This is not done through avoidance or seeking a haven of isolation for yourself. You are here to discover that peace is an intrinsic part of you and requires only that you be there in full consciousness to embrace any situation in which you are. And as you practice, you will learn that there is no limit to where you are, so that your peace is everywhere as you are. Now take one more deep, slow, full breath in. And as you exhale, allow your body and your mind to relax. And let's begin. My happiness and my function are one. With your eyes remaining closed, repeat this idea slowly to yourself and feel into its meaning. My happiness and my function, my purpose, my purpose for being are one. Even within the dream, you are already aware that the fulfillment of your function or your purpose in life is a necessary prerequisite to experiencing happiness fully. Can you see yourself being happy while your purpose remains unfulfilled and you are conscious that it is unfulfilled? In truth, your happiness and your function are one. Their forms appear to be different, but their content is completely one. You can rightly say that it is your purpose to be happy. The mind of the ego dream character constantly questions what your function really is. It also constantly questions what your happiness is, never finding a lasting or satisfying answer. Yet your true self is not confused on this point. Your inner guide knows what your function is and knows that it is your happiness. Today we will attempt to go past this meaningless and ceaseless argument about what it is. Do not become hopelessly involved in defining happiness 
and determining the means for achieving it based on the parameters of the dream matrix. The part of your mind which did not fall asleep but remains lucid even as you dream will provide you with both the definition and the means if you allow yourself to hear its voice. Today's practice is a practice in accepting the fact that not only is there a very real connection between the function God gave you and your happiness, but that they are actually identical. God gives you only happiness because you are part of the infinite creator's own being. Therefore, the essence of the function that the creator gave you must also be happiness, even if its form appears to be different. Today's practice periods are an attempt to go beyond these differences in appearance and recognize the shared essence where it exists in truth. Before we begin, realize deeply and see clearly that your function, your only purpose in life is to be happy. We are not talking about the momentary happiness of the dream character getting some perceived lack filled or achieving some social status. We are not talking about the fleeting happiness that comes and goes. Your function is to be happy. In other words, your function is to be your true self of which happiness is an intrinsic, inseparable aspect. Happiness is part of your being. Happiness is your being. So let's practice. Begin this 15 minute practice period by reviewing these thoughts. God gives me only happiness. He has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. Repeat this several times to yourself and simply feel into the frequency of these ideas. Do this now. Try to see the logic in this sequence, even if you do not yet accept the conclusion. It is only if the premises are wrong that the conclusion could be false. God gives me only happiness. God has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. about the premises for a while as you practice. The first premise is that God gives you only happiness. This could be false, of course, but in order for it to be false, it is necessary to define God as something God is not. God is love, and love cannot give evil, and what is not happiness is evil. Contemplate this now and see it clearly.
God cannot give what God does not have, and God cannot have what God is not. In other words, unless God gives you only happiness, God must be evil. God must be something that creates and then attacks its creation. And it is this definition of God which you are believing while you do not accept the first premise that God gives you only happiness. Contemplate this slowly and see it clearly. Do this now. The second premise is that God has given you your function. We have clarified that there are only two parts of your mind. One part is ruled by the ego dream matrix, devoted to your dream character, and is made up of illusions about yourself. The other part is the home of the Holy Spirit, your inner guide. It is the lucid part of your mind where truth abides. There are no other guides but these to choose between and no other outcomes possible as the result of your choice but the fear which the ego always engenders and the love which the Holy Spirit always offers to replace all fear. Contemplate this slowly and see it clearly. Do this now. And so it must be that your function is established by God through God's voice in you, or your function is made by the dream character which you have made in your imagination to replace your true self. So which source of your function is true? Unless God gave your function to you, it must be the gift of the ego. It must be the gift of the dream matrix. But does the ego really have gifts to give, being itself an illusion and offering only the illusion of gifts? Contemplate this and see it clearly. Do this now. Think also about the many forms the illusion of your function has taken in your mind. 
and the many ways in which you have tried to find happiness under the ego's guidance. Did you find it? Were you happy? Did these solutions bring you peace? Contemplate this slowly and see it clearly. Do this now. We will need great honesty today. Remember the outcomes of your past attempts fairly and consider also whether it was ever reasonable to expect happiness from anything the ego dream matrix has ever proposed. And yet the ego thought system is the only alternative to the Holy Spirit's voice in you. Again, contemplate this slowly and try to see it clearly. Do this now. There are only two choices available. You will listen to madness and illusion, or you will hear the truth. Try to make this choice as you think about the premises on which our conclusion rests. God gives me only happiness. God has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. Take the remaining four minutes now to contemplate your function, to see its direct relationship to your happiness, and to see if you can accept that your true function here, now, and always, is to be happy. To be happy by applying the means which make happiness inevitable. And what are those means? Those means are simply to awaken to your true self through forgiving all illusions and seeing past them to the oneness of all things. Do this now.
as you approach the completion of this practice period, take a deep, slow, and full breath in and hold it at the top as you hold the intention to fully integrate this practice period into your thought system. And as you exhale, relax and release. And know that you have taken a giant stride in the perception of the same as the same and the different as different. On one side stand all illusions and all truth stands on the other. Let us try today to realize that only the truth is true. The shorter practice periods, which would be most helpful if undertaken twice an hour today, will help you to make this clear. Try this form of application throughout the day. Repeat to yourself, my happiness and my function are one because God has given me both. It will not take more than a minute, probably less, to repeat these words slowly and think about them a little as you say them. self.